Welcome to the continuation series of uh, Maritime HF Communications videos. This series now we're going to spend a few moments explaining what Digital Selective Calling, or DSC, is, tell you how to use it, what it's used for, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. DSC, or Digital Selective Calling, has gotten kind of an unusual reputation in that most people don't know what it is or what it's used for, and then, of course, they say that it's not used for anything and it's no good. It's actually used quite often, and it's actually very good for a lot of things. But unless you understand exactly what it is and how it's used, it's going to be difficult for you to understand all of these things. And that's what I hope I'm going to do in this first video, explaining the basics of uh, Maritime DSC, or Digital Selective Calling. Maritime DSC is basically long-range text messaging. That's the basic concept, although you only have five choices of text messages to send. And you can send the message to everyone in the world, or to a group of people, or to one individual radio or one individual vessel. But you only have five, one, two, three, four, five, five choices of text messages that you can send. I know that might sound a little simplistic to those radio purists of us, but to explain it to the general public and the layman, let's just talk to you for a moment and make sure you understand. Basically what you're doing is using your long-range radio to send one of five possible text messages. And you could be sending these to an individual station, such as WLO. You might be sending them to an individual station, uh, possibly such as uh, the U.S. Coast Guard, or you may be sending them to your buddy who's 200 miles away from you or 2,000 miles away from you. But we're, I'm going to show you this right now in some detail. The five basic text messages that you can send in DSC are, number one, a test call, a simple test which is nothing more than, hey, I'm here. And that's just your radio sending out that message saying, hey, I'm here, to another radio somewhere, whether it might be at a shore station or another vessel. And that other vessel's radio or shore station's radio sends you back, excuse me, sends your radio back a message saying, yep, yeah, I got it, we're here, we're fine. And that's it. That's all a test call is, is your radio talking to somebody else's radio. That's all it is. That's number one. And I'm going to show you how that's listed here on the M802's uh, display. You hit your DSC button, and then of course your set mode button, and you see down here where it says test. I'll scroll. I'm going to scroll down here so you can see it a little bit better where it says test. And that is one of the five messages that you can send. Just one of the five. And that's, again, simply your radio talking to somebody else's radio, and it's basically just testing to make sure that both your radio is working, your DSC antenna is working, and the communications path, of course, is open. There are four other kinds of, of messages in the DSC, and we're going to show them to you right here. And those are routine, safety, urgency, or distress go back to routine for a moment. A routine message might be similar to you sending a text to your friend and saying, hey, I'm here, can you talk to me at this particular channel or frequency? You know, no specific reason, you know, maybe you want to ask him how his day is going, maybe you want to talk to him about how much fish he's catching, maybe you want to hook up for dinner or something three weeks from now. But in any case, that's what a routine message would be for. Perhaps you want to inquire about a weather forecast, Maybe you want to ask him what the, you know, what the sea condition is like, where he's at, something like that. A safety message could also be, maybe you need weather information, maybe you need some, uh, <clears throat> maybe you need some information about a system on board, you have a, a trouble starting an engine, or maybe you have a problem with a pump or something like that. It's certainly not an urgent or a distress category, but that's what you might want to send a safety message for. Uh, urgency message might be, you know, I've lost half my rudder, or my steering is inoperative, or I've lost the mast and I'm motoring in, 
uh, you know, a dismasting, something like that. A uh, crew member may have a broken arm and we might need someone to meet us at the dock, uh, you know, a, a paramedic or something like that. Uh, and if you're in the middle of the Atlantic and you're a week away from shore, might just be an advisory to a Coast Guard or to a shore station or to another vessel that, you know, we've got a problem, we might be a week late, something like that. Uh, we've got a medical issue on board, something like that. And then, of course, you have the distress call, which we've dealt with in great detail prior to this video, and we will go into detail with it again as well. But in each one of these four categories here, the test call of the was the first category, and that is just simply, again, your radio telling the other radio, hey, I'm here, and the other guy's radio saying, okay, fine. But in each one of these other four categories here, routine, safety, urgency, or distress, you are telling the other operator on the other end, whether it might be one individual or a whole group or everybody in the world, you're telling them you need to talk to them on a specific channel or frequency. And it's basically sending a text saying, hey, I'm here, I'm at this location. It sends out your GPS position and your MMSI number so they know who you are, they know where you are, and you're asking them, hey, I need to talk to you on this frequency or this channel. And any one of these four messages categories, you will be able to do that. In, uh, in videos coming up, I'm going to show you how to make a test call to verify that your radio is working both with the U.S. Coast Guard test call to them and a test call to a Coast Station WLO here in the United States. I'm also going to show you a, a safety call or excuse me a routine sorry my fault a routine call to a Coast Station WLO and I'm going to show you a safety call to the U.S. Coast Guard uh, uh, Coast Station as well. We're going to go into details in each one of those individual things in a video coming up. Just wanted to make sure we got through the basics here of what HFDSC is and how it actually works and why you might want to use it. We're going to continue on and show you a, a DSC uh, call, a routine call to a WLO, Coast Station WLO, as well as the, uh, you'll see the test calls uh, to and from the Coast Guard as well as a test call to and from WLO. But basically what I'm trying to explain here is your HF radio, your HF single sideband radio is a lot more than just an HF single sideband radio. Uh, in 1992, and this is now 2015, so in 1992, that was 23 years ago, by international agreement they set up this wonderful thing called digital selective calling. Well since then lots of technologies have come and gone and things have changed and Satellite communication has improved and the costs have come down, but it's still DSC, HFDSC, is still being used every day on the high seas, on coastal waters, as well as in the open ocean by all sorts of vessels, both pleasure boats and commercial vessels worldwide. It is an extremely reliable mode of communication. When I say extremely reliable, I'm also talking about the robustness of the actual digital communications path as well as the reliability of the systems that are installed on vessels and on the coast stations. To give you an idea, the narrow bandwidth of this signal, the repetition of the information over and over again, particularly when you're sending a distress call, uh, repeats this information over and over and over and over again in one long transmission. And this kind of repetition, this kind of uh, over and over again of, of redundancy means that your message always gets through in its correct form. Meaning, you know, like if you're in a distress, your mayday is getting through and your position information is getting through. The other thing is, is that it's almost like having an increase in transmitter power. Using the DSC as a very narrow bandwidth mode and it's a very robust mode. It's known as a, a TOR mode or teletype over radio. And it's one of the older versions of that. It's called frequency shift keying. Um, it's not nearly uh, as advanced as people that are using PACTOR modems. But the wonderful thing about the uh, FSK is, is that it's been around uh, longer than I've been alive. <laughs> it's been around like 60, 70 years or more, actually. And uh, it's extremely reliable and it's extremely robust. And with today's technology built into the radios and the DSC controllers, um, it's almost like getting your message through when nothing else will get through. 
So even if somebody can't understand your voice correctly or your inflection is wrong or you have an accent or you have a weak signal, uh, the DSC message and the DSC calls will get through. So like I said at the beginning, it's like a text message you're sending out. Uh, your first type of text message is just your radio talking to another radio saying, hey, I'm here, and the other radio says, yeah, I know, I am too. Then there are the other four types of, uh, of DSC calls, and I'm going to cancel out of this page here, and I'll show you the other types of DSC calls as we discussed earlier. They are routine, safety, urgency, and distress. Again, routine, safety, urgency, and distress. And these four types of, uh, of DSC calls are like sending out a text message. Uh, the, again, the routine one is kind of like saying, hey, I'm here, can you talk to me on this channel? And the uh, safety one is, hey, I'm here, I need some weather information, or I need some harbor entrance information, or I need something important, uh, can you talk to me on this channel? The uh, urgency call is, hey, uh, I've been dismasted, but, you know, I'm still underway, or I've lost my rudder and steering is uh, difficult, uh, don't need a rescue, don't need any kind of thing like that, but might need some assistance. And then, of course, there's the distress, which is a mayday. A uh, life-threatening situation is imminent, fire, explosion, a uh, hole in the hull, sinking, uh, something like that. And those are the four types of specific DSC or text messages that you would be sending over your long-range radio.